Hey guys, do you remember Charlie? He's working for a production company and has to finish the VFX of a new movie by the end of the day. If not, he'll be fired. Now he doesn't have After Effects, so I'm gonna help him do this right inside Premiere. Let's get to the first effect. Here we have a girl looking through a window. Now we want the light from the window to shine on her face. First you need to find an abstract clip, something like this. I actually found it on Storyblocks, but more about that later. Drag it on top of the close-up video. Then hold down Alt and duplicate the clip of the girl on top of the shape video. We're actually gonna blend the shapes with the face of the girl. Now to do that, go to the window menu on top and open up the metric. Head over to basic correction and find a saturation slider. Now decrease it all the way to zero. That will make the video black and white. Now close the basic correction tab. Now go to the curves tab. Now create a curve like this to increase the contrast. The straighter the line, the more harsh it will be. Make sure the whites are on the face of the person because we need to blend the shapes with those whites. Now head over to the effect controls. Find the opacity property and go to blend modes. You can actually hover with your cursor on the drop down menu and use your scroll wheel to browse the blend modes. For me, multiply works like a charm. Now in the timeline, select the shape video and and go back to the effect controls. Then on top, click the motion property. In the program monitor, you can now reposition and rescale the video until the size looks natural. Now head back to the timeline and select the top two videos. Right click them and choose nest. Then give it a name, for example shapes and click OK. Select the nested sequence and go back to the effect controls. Then in opacity, play with the blend modes until you find one that fits your video. Exclusion seems to work best for me. And there we have it. Awesome. Now. Whoa, 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 Charlie, why are you trying to download an illegal version of After Effects? That way you'll get a virus. Sometimes I think he really wants to get fired. Anyway, in the next effect, we're gonna put some text behind these objects. For this effect to work, it's important that you find a clip with high contrast like this. In the toolbar, click the text tool or press T on your keyboard. Then go to the program monitor and type in whatever you want. I'd like the text to be red because it looks very nice on black and white. Now, all you need to do is select the graphic layer with your text in it and go to the effect controls. Then in opacity, change the blending mode to darken or multiply so that the text isn't visible on the dark parts of the video. I also use the corner pin effect to make the text fit with the horizon of the video. That looks so amazing. Alright, next we're gonna make a music video effect by creating a transition like this. I actually found these two clips with a Storyblocks plugin. Just type in something like music artist and you'll find thousands of clips you can use in your projects. Click the download button and once it's done, the file will appear in your project window. Oh yeah, they're also sponsoring this video by the way. Thanks man. You can actually find anything you need on Storyblocks, such as specific stock videos from beautiful nature, space and planet clips, sport videos, literally anything you can think of. Amazing green screen videos to spice up your project, Premiere Pro and After Effects templates to save your time and all of that in HD and 4K resolution. I'm also super proud of our landing page. Here you can download our very own travel clips, car crashes and lots of other clips as well. Most of them are shot in a lock color profile so you can easily color grade it afterwards. On other stock websites you need to pay an expensive price per clip that you download. But with Storyblocks, you will get everything for one set price and you can actually choose to pay monthly or annually. Also, don't worry about losing monetization, Storyblocks will take care of that. I have never made a Premiere Basics tutorial without using Storyblocks and I truly recommend it to any creative. So take back creative control with Storyblocks unlimited royalty free stock library and tools today by going to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics or just Click the link below. To create this music video effect, go to the effects library and find the echo effect. Drag it on top of the first clip. Head over to the effect controls and go to the play it. Move further in time and then find the echo time property. Click the stopwatch icon to set a keyframe. Then grab the play it again and move further in time. Now increase the echo time just a little bit until the person starts duplicating. Now go back to the timeline and duplicate the second clip. Set the play it at the first frame of the video and make it one frame long. Drag it on top of the first clip and select it. Head over to the effect controls and go to opacity. Then click the pen tool and in the program monitor draw a mask around the person. This doesn't have to be super precise. Next go to the timeline. Right click the frame and choose nest. Then click OK. You'll understand why in a second. Now hold down alt and duplicate the nested sequence two frames further. Keep doing that until you reach the end of the first clip. That will create this flicker effect. But I think we can do better. Select all the nests and head over to the effects library. Find the Gaussian blur effect and drag it on the selected nest. Choose the first one and go to the effect controls. Now increase the blurriness until the person is barely visible. Then go back to the timeline and select the second nest. Now we're gonna do the same thing but this time make the person a little bit more visible by giving it less Gaussian blur. Keep doing that with every frame until the man is completely visible on the last frame. That looks awesome already but there's one more thing. In the project window click the new icon button and choose adjustment layer. Then click OK and drag it on top of the clips. Head back to the effect library and find our free earthquake preset. I'll leave a link below so you can download it. Drag it on top of the adjustment layer and 
and boom, that looks so awesome. No, Charlie, don't click the download button. Yep, he clicked it. And there you go, your PC is smoking. I told you, you can do this in Premiere. Trust me. Anyway, let's get to the next effect. It's time for a color grading effect. We're gonna make a teal and orange look. To do that, duplicate your video in the timeline. Then go to the effects library and find the invert effect. Now drag it on the top video and head over to the effect controls. Find it and set the channel to blue. This will invert the blue colors in your video, which makes it yellow. Here you can blend the effect with the original clip, but we're gonna leave it at zero for now. Next, go to the opacity property and set the blend mode to soft light. Now decrease the opacity until you find the sweet spot. And at the same time, play with the blend mode of the invert effect. That looks awesome. For the next effect, we have a guy looking through a peephole. The other side of the door is Jordy. Hey Jordy. Now we're gonna make it look like Jordy is actually being seen through a peephole. To do that, head over to the effect controls and go to opacity. Click the ellipse mask and this will create a mask on Jordy's face. Go to the program monitor and adjust it to something like this. Then go back to opacity and increase the feather of the mask. And now it's time to create this fish eye effect. Find the lens distortion effect and drag it on the clip. All you need to do now is increase the curvature and that already looks great but we're not done yet. Next, find the chromatic aberrations effect and drag it on your clip. Then on the effect, click the ellipse mask tool. Create a similar mask, but leave a small edge inside the peephole. Go back to the effect controls and invert the mask. Then increase the feather to create a smooth edge. Finally, decrease the fall off distance to make the effect more subtle. And there you have it. Awesome. Ah, you did all of this in Premiere, Charlie. I'm proud of you. Okay, so these effects can be heavy for your computer. So you need to optimize Premiere and you can learn everything about that in the video here on my left. So. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.